by virtue of the authority vested in the state of New York and the Board of Trustees of Mercy College, I'm now delighted to confer upon you, Umran Beba, the degree of Doctor of Commercial Science, honoris causa, with all rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest Mercy College alumna, Dr. Umran Beba, to give the commencement address. Dr. Beba. Oh, I am really honored, privileged, and emotionally maybe a little, you know, on the, on the student side. <laughs> So it has been many years, you know, I will be celebrating my 40th year uh, graduation from high school uh, this year. So you can imagine uh, being in business for 37 years now and out of that uh, many years, 25 years I spent in one company. I do not expect the same from you because in this generation now we are looking for different experiences. But the reason I stayed in one company actually was uh, for that long, the values I had, the personal values and the company's values were in sync. So to start, I think our life and uh, the work life, it's very important to understand our own values, our strengths, and then bring it to your leadership and make it a success. So that awareness is very important. You know, I have written a speech and I'm just now not reading it. I am improvising today. <laughs> so basically, you have learned the mission, vision, uh, legacy of, you know, uh, strategies and goals and achieving goals in your business school, either in undergraduate or graduate degrees. But today, I think your first business is yourself. So you have to identify, maybe already you have identified, it's written somewhere, what is your mission? What is your vision, strategies, and goals? You are launching this new brand. My background is also in marketing, despite I'm an engineer. So you are launching this brand today with this beautiful graduation, and after that, actually, you will succeed. And my formula was four C's. Uh, I would like to talk about quickly confidence, courage, care, and communities. Um, we have to believe in ourselves and we have to talk about our strengths. You know, one of the challenges of the corporate world, we always talk about development needs. Let's focus on them and make sure we develop. That's great, but let's focus on our strengths. We have a lot of strengths, values. You persevered actually many things in life, that resilience, I think that's a major strength. So let's focus on those and create this uh, journey with your strengths, with your confidence in you first. And then the courage, I think, to take risks, to take actions, uh, making sure that you voice concerns. Wherever you are, in the workplace or in the boardroom, you should be able to speak up at the right time. That's what's expected of you not the silence. The third is the care, wherever you are, for yourself, for your work, teammates, families, friends. And the most important thing, I believe, is not to hide that care. We all wanted to be cared for, therefore, please show it. The reason I'm here today, because I care about you, I care about Mercy College, everybody here, and the, the education of new generations. Please show it without any uh, you know, shyness. And the last one is communities. Caring for our communities and rising together. I think the summit or the mountain's top should not be, I think, enjoyed uh, alone. We need others with us. We need our communities. We can only shine together. So that's the reason, again, I am very happy and proud to be here today with you, but also supporting the entrepreneurship and innovation activities in Mercy College and in the future also I would like to be with you there. 
So as I said, you are writing your new chapter with your mission, vision, strategies, and goals. This is your first business today, and you are going to succeed in this business more and more, because today is the first very important step, but you will succeed more and more every three to five years. Make your plan, and then I think we will enjoy seeing you in the companies, in your own business, in entrepreneurship, in social community business, wherever you are. So I would like to congratulate all of you, first of all the students, then the parents and families, and I am so grateful to be here getting this degree. And I would like to thank my husband here, who has been with me for 26 years. <laughs> Now, he is a professor, and I'm sure he's a little maybe jealous today that I'm getting this degree <laughs> without going through the pain, but I know that we have been through some pain, moving, you know, uh, four, I mean, like three big moves. We lived in four countries, and I was the one, I was the reason, you know, I felt a lot of guilt, you can imagine but he was supporting me throughout that journey with our two boys who are also in, in adult seats today. So thank you very much, the president, the faculty, everybody here, thank you so much. And congratulations, the class of 2022.